I'm Rick Watson, and here's this week's Highlander Highlights, brought to you by Visit Myrtle Beach. Plan your summer vacation now at visitmyrtlebeach.com. Leading off with men's basketball, the Highlanders saw their historic season come to an end on Thursday in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, as the Highlanders fell to the top seed Villanova, 87-61, in the NCAA Basketball Tournament's East Regional. Donald Hicks led the scoring charge with 13 points for Radford. The Highlanders advanced to Pittsburgh after he had won the program's first ever NCAA tournament game at the first four in Dayton on Tuesday. In the Highlanders' 71-61 victory over LIU Brooklyn, Carleek Jones had 12 points, 11 rebounds, and 7 assists, while Ed Polite Jr. added a double-double with 13 points and 12 rebounds. Along with notching the school's first ever NCAA tournament victory, the Highlanders set a school record for wins in the Division I era with 23. The Highlanders will also say goodbye to three outstanding seniors with Justin Cousin, Randy Phillips, and Christian Bradford playing their final games as seniors on Thursday. In women's basketball, Radford's season ended with a 62-35 loss at James Madison in the second round of the WNIT on Saturday night in Harrisonburg. The Highlanders had advanced with a 63-62 opening round victory at Penn State on Thursday as Destiny Walker led the way with 13 points. Radford finishes the season with a 24-9 overall record, winning 24 games in back-to-back -back seasons, which ranks second in program history. The Highlanders' senior class of Janela White, Jada Worthy, and Claudia Cavedo finished their careers with 83 victories. In women's tennis, Radford picked up its first Big South win of the season with a 6-1 decision over Commonwealth foe Longwood as the Highlanders collected their fourth win by that same score on the season. A day removed from its first Big South opener, Radford took the doubles point early as Natalie Sayer and Tyler Blaylock opened with a 6-0 decision. The win improved the duo to 6-5 on the season. Continuing to dominate doubles play, Drizel Zobu and Lottie Mazeros sealed doubles with a 6-4 win in the number two position. They are now 11-2 with four straight wins on the season. In men's golf, beginning the third round, only two strokes out of first place, the Highlanders golf team shot a 289 and moved up one spot to finish the Pinehurst Intercollegiate in first place last Sunday. The team finished with an 886 aggregate score. The Highlanders finished one stroke better than Ball State, who had the best round three score at 286, but ended with an 887. The Highlanders will look to build off their success at the Kings Mill Intercollegiate, which begins on Sunday, March 25th, and ends on Tuesday, March the 27th. And finally in baseball, after dropping the first two games over the weekend to UNC Asheville, Radford used an 11-run fourth inning on Sunday to beat the Bulldogs 12-5 in the lid-lifting Big South Conference weekend. Austin Ross picked up his fourth win, and Kyle Butler had two hits as three players each drove in two runs. Radford returns to the Diamond on Tuesday to face in-state foe VMI in Lexington for the first of a two-game midweek series over the season. Then the Highlanders resume conference action over the weekend with a trip to High Point. And that's been a look at this week's Highlander highlights brought to you by Visit Myrtle Beach. You can plan your summer vacation now at visitmyrtlebeach.com. For RadfordAthletics.com, I'm Rick Watson.